What's up individuals? Today I got six hairstyles that are perfect for receding hairlines or bigger foreheads kind of like myself. Now we'll go ahead and use my hair for each example today just because I mean I do keep it disguised pretty well underneath this little messy fringe thing I got going on but underneath this I got myself a nice little five head going on. As you can see my hairline does go back a little far near the corners. I'm not necessarily receding however you know, ever since I was about 13 years old, I've always kind of had this pretty high hairline. With that said, I've had quite a few different hairstyles over the years that have helped me disguise that. So let's dive deep and go through them. Now for the first three styles, I'm going to use this cut right here. It's a high skin fade on the sides and back. The sides are disconnected while the back blends into the top. The top front is around four and a half inches and the top back is a little shorter, around four inches. Now first up, we're going to go with something messy and textured that also has uh, some subtle volume. And now in order to get this look, I'm gonna apply some sea salt spray to really thicken things up and add that volume boost. And then I'll take the blow dryer and start at the roots, hitting it from all different angles. Then about halfway through, I'll start blow drying the front up while scrunching it with my fingers just to add in some waviness and texture. As soon as my hair is dry, I'll then apply my favorite hairstyling clay. You're definitely going to want something with a high hold and low shine that'll last all day. So as soon as you got something like that, apply it all over. And because my hair has so much volume from the sea salt spray, I'll then kind of just tame it down with the clay because obviously no one wants that much volume. And as you can see here, I'm going to take those hairs on the sides and cover that temple area where I'm trying to hide my hairline. And that's the final result, a really great way to cover those receding areas nicely while still giving you a sexy, messy bedhead type of look. Now before jumping into the second hairstyle, right now I just want to encourage you guys to click the link down below to get 20% off plus free shipping plus two free gifts at manscaped.com. Manscaped is today's sponsor and it's the only brand that I use to handle all my grooming needs, especially below the waist grooming. I mean as a man you want hair up here, but you want to get rid of it down there, right? And the Lawnmower 4.0 does a great job of safely doing that. You can use it in the shower and it's even got a built-in LED light so you don't miss anything. And now Manscaped has just created the perfect three-step grooming regimen covering the big three odor zones, booty, balls, and body. Kicking it off with their new two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, which is a perfect solution for most of us guys who just want to keep things simple and cut our showering time in half. It includes premium ingredients and antioxidants such as coconut water, green tea, aloe, turmeric, sage and of course it's got that amazing manscaped signature scent and then once my hair is washed i move my way down to my body with the new manscaped body wash now both of these products are a perfect solution to keep your hair and skin from feeling dry especially during these more colder seasons all thanks to the premium hydrating ingredients so once my body is primed and cleansed from all the germs bacteria and excess oils i'll then go in with my lawnmower 4.0 by the way if you opt into the peak hygiene plan you'll be able to get any manscaped products that you want replenished and delivered straight to your door monthly. So click that link down below to get 20% off plus free shipping plus those two free gifts. All right, now moving on. Let's go for something a little more classic. Right here, we got a finger combed off-centered part. So first things first, for this look, I decided to mold my look using the blow dryer. Blow drying straight back and then creating a messy off-centered part. And by using the heat of the blow dryer, this will force your hair to go in the direction you want it to go in. So all you will really need to do at that point is just apply your favorite pomade. Now, me personally, I'm not a huge fan of light, low-holding pomades. So if you're like me, Pomade by Shavu is a great pomade with a thick and rich formula that'll definitely provide intense hold. And by the way, when using pomade, I usually never fully blow dry my hair. My hair usually is always just a little bit damp still. I just feel like it's more effective that way, in my opinion. And that's it, that is the final result. As you can see, because of the off-centered part, it allows those front pieces of hair to gently lay over the receding areas. Now, 
Now for the third and final look using this specific hairstyle, we got my favorite, the wavy modern fringe. Out of today's looks, this will definitely be the most easiest to style for sure. It's actually my go-to look at the moment. All I do is apply some sea salt spray and then I'll blow dry my hair all forward. And then occasionally I'll come through the front and crunch my hair with my fingers just to create some subtle wave. Then to finish it off, I'll apply just a small amount of ocean clay. Not too much though, ocean clay has a really high hold so I'm trying to scale that back for more of a lighter and loose hold. But still of course with crazy texture. That is it, that is the final result. By the way, this hairstyle is probably the best way to go if you really wanna create that illusion as if you have a smaller forehead. Now for those of you looking for a more natural, longer cut, right here I have this Robert Pattinson inspired look, which is kind of an overgrown hairstyle. Maybe for those of you looking to grow out your hair, the top is around five inches and the sides and back start around three and a half as it blends into the top. Beginning this hairstyle with the pre-styler is an absolute must, especially for those of you with either super straight hair like me or very fine and thin hair. This will give your hair some body and boost. And then for this look, I'll just simply blow dry it. And if you want a little more volume, feel free to blow dry upside down. That helps out a lot. Next, you're gonna wanna blow dry the sides back just to keep the style looking clean. Then apply whatever product you prefer. For longer hairstyles like this, I prefer pomade. And then, kind of like we did with the off-centered part earlier, the same applies here. Use this off-centered part to push back the hair over your receding hairline. So as you can see, both sides lay nicely over the corners of my hairline. thing about this look is you can play around with it. If the hair falls out of place, then that's cool, you know, it gives it style. For the fifth look, this is going to be a bit similar, but with a more natural flow, and it's going to look less producty, if that's a word. And the only thing you'll use for this hairstyle is just a pre-styler. Again, preferably sea salt spray and just spray it in there, comb it back, and let it air dry. And by letting it air dry with the sea salt spray in it, it'll give you nice subtle lift and wavy texture without looking like you have all this product in your hair. It's actually gonna look like you have nothing in your hair whatsoever. For the sixth and final style, we have this long haired parted look for any dude looking to you know, fully grow out his hair. The top is around seven and a half inches, the sides and back around four and a half as they blend into the top. Now for this one, I apply the pre-styler, then blow dry my hair all upside down. Once it's dry, I like to use matte paste. This one specifically I'm using by Dauntless, which is a really great product. I think I actually have a promo code for you to use down below if you want to check it out. Then I'll create a nice finger combed part and ear tuck that sucker. However, if you're going fully bald, then I would highly recommend you to not even go for this specific style. Just my recommendation. It's definitely not gonna benefit you by any means. I'd kind of save this look for dudes with more higher hairlines like myself. And last note, um, if your hair is just receding really badly at this point, you got a cul-de-sac going on, then I highly encourage you just to 
buzz that sucker all the way off. You need to go for the bald look. Um, a cul-de-sac hairstyle is never a good look in my opinion. And I know I have a lot of older gentlemen who watch me here on this channel, so if that offends any of you guys, then, um, well then good. Someone needs to slap you upside your head. So, hey, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. I'm trying to help you guys out here. That's just how I feel, so. Um, appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up if you dug it. Hit that notifications button to be informed when I drop new content. And I'll see you very soon. Peace always.